All right, very um, informal demonstration. Um, this is KTOR with Exposed running um, off Postgres. And it's all backed by Kotlin multi-platform. So I wanted to um, do something with the generic project that Kotlin multi-platform <sighs> sets up. And because I've done some Kotlin multi-platform stuff, but I've got a more intricate build. I kind of wanted to roll with their build duck radle and try to get used to doing it this way. So what we have here, I'm only really using JVM main and common main. I haven't done anything else with it yet. But under common main, got some real simple DTOs for book and author. And then just a minimum DTO. Um, which will make sense in a little bit. All right. This is the shell, so it's got all the default um, multi-platform stuff here. Um, but yeah, that's so all that's really in the common main. Um, from KTOR standpoint, I have an application.conf and that, I go back. Tell it the port, um, give it your main module, and then just some database stuff. So I set up a um, quick uh, Postgres database for this to use. All right, so that's the basic comp file. Now let's go into main. And in true um, KTOR uh, fashion, this line here sets up your server to run with the um, command line arguments. And this is just the um, instructions for the server, right? So for serialization, I'm using um, Kotlin serialization on my DTOs. So this has to be here. Um, and then I got a database factory. So really easy. Um, pulling from the config. Right. And then we're using um, Hikari for pools. So that this is set up here. All right. Um, username, password, URL, the whole nine yards. And then... We have our init, so there's our Hikari, and then I'm trying to do a create drop. And what I'm doing is um, just telling the schema to drop books and authors, just because I want it to um, start with new data every time, just because it's testing, right? This um, creates the tables, okay? And I've got load authors and load books. All right, and what that, and I'll show that off in a second. So, um, let's look at our database data real quick. So if we go to our model, we've got authors and books. Um, this is pretty neat. So with expose to create the table, is create an object. Um, you can create it just as a, a regular table. Um, sub, but if you use it ID table, it basically handles creating the ID and doing that correctly and also setting it as the key, right? And then to create the backing classes, you just have to follow this format and it will go through and it will create um, classes for you from the, t from the data. And then just because I don't want to pass full classes, I always use DTOs. So both my classes, a book and author, have a uh, two DTO, which returns a book DTO, and then a two min, and I'll show that off later when I show the data. Now, what I thought was weird is that, um, let's, let's open author. So author, in the table itself, has no back reference to book. 
So like usually you have a many to one on one side and one to many on the other. Um, I didn't have to do that here. Okay, so if you look at books, I got a reference to author. Um, and here's the syntax for doing that, reference on books.author. And if you look at the author side, there is no reference to books, yet it's readily available. Um, I have to do some research and find out how that's working, but it works great. So that's our data. And then I created services for each. So I'll just go over one. So I've got a get all and a get by ID. And all you got to do is call the book object. And because it is a subclass of um, this int entity, it gives you a whole bunch of stuff out of the box. So book.all gets us um, a list of all the books. And then to serve it out, I'm converting, I'm mapping them all to the DTO. Same thing with get by ID. So that's pretty straightforward, very clean. Um, let's look at routing. So, if you look at the routes, um, really easy. Um, get all off author, get by ID off author. And one more thing to get this as a coroutine, like as a coroutine, I guess, wrapper, you'd call it. You just have this suspend function here. It takes your um, query and wraps it with transaction the whole, the whole bit. All right, so I showed you the, the service. I showed you the routes. So now let's actually see if it works. So um, the first time you start it, just go to your main and hit run, and then it will build this for you. And starts up clean. And now let's go to our REST client. And we'll go with um, books better. It's got more stuff. There are the books. I can get a specific book. I can get author. Oh, and I'm not sure, going back to the data, um, to load the data, I'm not sure I went over this, but all you have to do, this is wild, again, because of the, the, the um, it's a one, from a schema standpoint, it looks like it's a one-sided um, relationship, so we have here, I just created the one author, and then when I created the books, I just grabbed the author, and to create the new books, all well, this is a transaction, so it just um, creates it to the database. All I had to do is specify the author there, and it, everything just ran nice. Anyway, that's it. Um, very simple. Um, I haven't got my hooks into it yet. I'm probably going to um, share this out. If I do, I'll put a link to the repo in the comments.